Okay, you want to show everybody your nighttime routine? Here we go. Okay, so we begin the nighttime routine at the end of the long day that it has been. Sometimes we look disheveled. I like so. But for it looks perfect. Right? Oh yeah, okay, he wants to bite the camera. If you've watched my Insta stories, you see that at uh, nighttime or like whenever we feed him food, which is morning and night, sometimes I feed him a lot, most of the time I make his baby food and I'm gonna show you that in a minute because that is part of our nighttime routine. Um, I make it and you can use it for a couple days or however long it takes him to eat through this. This is his favorite, butternut squash and nannies. Wow. <laughs> no, no. So sometimes I do two different um, dinners for him. Sometimes I just do one, so I'll just like take this out of the fridge. But also, I really love these. So um, I was, I really researched, went by, by research, I mean go through the grocery aisle and read the labels on all of the baby food. And I liked this one, this brand, um, because the ingredients just say um, apple puree, broccoli, and organic lemon juice. So that had no preservatives or dyes or anything in it, so I was like, this one's for me. So it is called Plum Organics. And apparently you're supposed to look for that seal. So that's what I looked for. And this is the stage two, so it's six months and up. He started on the stage one at about five and a half months. I didn't start food too early because I'm still breastfeeding. So sometimes I mix it up, like I said, and sometimes I'll just do one. But these little containing, these container pouches are really great. And I use these little Biaba spoons usually. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy. One of the biggest things in our nighttime routine with Ford is getting him full before we start his bath. So we drew, we do the regular, what do you call this, human food? Not baby food. Baby food, baby food, food that is not milk from the bosom. And we'll feed him now. What time is it, like 6.30? Yeah. And then after that, we'll play with him a little bit and Yummy. take him to bed or take him to his little bath and then feed him again. So if you're trying and to get milk. your baby, yeah, then feed him milk. So if you have children and you're trying to get them to go to sleep or you want them to sleep through the night so you can sleep, the best thing, what we found that works for us is getting them in kind of a nighttime routine. And if you're a human or an adult, that also works very well for you. Whoa. So what's your favorite thing to do after you eat? Yeah, okay, bang on the table. What else? Watch the news, check out the weather. Did you call your friends? You know the telephone time stops at seven. Yeah, okay. Mom. Hey, you. <laughs> We had a girl call asking for Ford past eight o'clock. I told her to call back during proper hours. <laughs> so this will go on our nighttime routine more so, but I just wanted to show you this recipe that I just cooked. So we're doing Weight Watchers. So I try to modify like my easy family friendly recipes for Weight Watchers and this is hardly any points. So I did this like chicken dish and basically all it is it's chicken um, and then a bunch of green vegetables like spinach, artichokes, um, broccoli, and artichoke hearts. I put some low-fat cream cheese in there, salt and pepper, and then um, I used four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I cooked um, in the bottom of the insert of the crock pot before. I like browned it on all four sides. Then I used some chicken stock and a little bit of garlic and a chopped onion, and that's literally all it is and lemon juice at the end. So you just throw it in there and for four hours I cook it on half and then we have our dinner for nighttime and it is a cozy winter vibe outside so it's just perfect. Oh no Ford, you forgot your responsibility of changing the Christmas sign. 
It's 40 days till Christmas. Oh, and I miss a day? Yes. Failure. Oh, gosh, thank goodness it's not that. He missed some days, so that's part of Ford's nighttime routine. We do the Christmas countdown. We do the Christmas countdown. So, after we eat, we jump into the jungle plaything. Yeah. And we play in this. It plays songs. And Ford likes to carry his foo foo. So, yeah. So, one of the good things about playing right after they eat, right after Ford eats, it stimulates the baby. So, that way, I feel like it kind of sets him up to get sleepy later. I don't know if that's some. Um, dad science or not but that's what I like to do so we stimulate the heck out of him right after we feed him his um baby food there's Mount drinking a LaCroix the best analogy I've heard about LaCroix is that it tastes like carbonated water that somebody dropped a skittle in and let it dissolve why did you say that that's gonna ruin these for me forever Hey Ford! <laughs> wow, goofy. So we took Doug to the vet and he is a little overweight, surprisingly. The vet said he has the body shape of a tick. A round one. So we used to do a full scoop two times a day like that. Now we gotta cut them back a little bit. Wow. Sorry, Doug. That's orders. Go ahead, move through here. Wow. Stump our toe on the high chair. Curse. Mm. Great. It's on. So, another thing our, I think our pediatrician told us Dr. Graff in Nashville. If you're in Nashville, you want a great pedi pediatrician, look up Dr. Graff. Tell me that's his daddy. Is that babies, it's good to set them up with stations because they have like baby ADD. So when he gets a little fussy in there, usually what I do is I'll move him over here to the jumping jack. What's this called? Jump Johnny man. jump up. Johnny jump up. This isn't the one that they banned in 37 countries either. <laughs> we don't think. Even if it was, we wouldn't take it back because this is a good one. Hey Ford, are you having fun? Whoa! Sometimes he'll try to grab and make his way and grab the edge of that and then sling back over here. This was from Target. I think I bought, I don't know, I bought it a couple months ago. It was probably $30 maybe. And then the little extra saucer that he, he gets in is also from Target. I think it was around 70. <laughs> One of the rare occasions you will see this baby cry is when him is very tired. So now that we've exhausted all of our fun activities, that does not include grabbing the dog <laughs> by his paw or privates. <laughs> it's time for bath. <laughs> Here we go. And unfortunately in the space that we're in now for the next couple months, well, it's a great space, but it is three stories. So, both of the extra bedrooms and bathrooms are on the third floor. So we now venture up as a fam to the third floor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Getting ready I for bath time. Come in here. I sit on the edge while I'm holding four and I start the bath. So he is about, Doug, he is about to grow out. Mr. Grinch, give me He's about to grow out of this bathtub. I got this for like $23 off of Nordstrom. And this is the second phase of it. So the first phase um, is for infants. The second phase is more for like his size. And the third phase is him sitting up completely without this net in there. I just don't know that he's ready for that though. So he's about to grow out this little sling thing, but he's got maybe a couple more weeks. Ford would like everyone to see his figure. <gasps> Whoa, Ford, you're looking good, man. Very, you're looking good. good Got a six pack. Yeah. Look at them arms. Yeah, looking Pecs, good. Abs. 
<laughs> Working on balance. <laughs> oh, hi! Mommy always stands here and watches you. I sit beside Ford in the bathtub, like here, just like on the little ledge. I got this thing off on my baby registry. It's from Skip Hop. It's got a little cushion on it. And obviously, you know, never to leave the room, even though he's only in that tiny well bathtub. He can still slip down or something could happen. So I sit on the edge and I let him chill for a couple minutes and just chew on his duck. And then I start washing him off. So I get this kind of um, brand, uh, it's called Baby Gannix. And I get this from Target. It's just a shampoo and body wash. I tried the nighttime one too, but I like the day smelling one better. Wow. Really wash under the chin, very good. And behind the tiny ears, and on the tiny face. Scrub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub. And I wet his little hair, wet his little hair. And we sing a lot of songs we make up, don't we, Ford? Good job, Ford, good job. And now, for the best part of all, looking in the mirror to see what we look like today. Wow. Okay, everybody wants to know how you do your mohawk? Let it show them. All you do is take the wet hair, Got a little dry. And then you take the comb that they gave you in the hospital when he was an infant to wash his body on one side. And you spike it up. And you spike it up. Looks really nice. Wow, Ford. How you get your hair like that? How you get your hair like that? Whoa, Ford. That looks really good. Woo! Man. Yeah! Woo-hoo! Shake it for the girls. Okay, and then he gets dry skin on his little back. And... At first, I was using this. Someone just gave me this in a baby gift, and it worked pretty well. But then, um, uh, the little girl that sits him, babysits him, her name is Lauren. She does Young Living stuff, and she gave me this baby oil. So, I alternate between um, these two things, and they seem to help. So, let's oil you up, baby, baby boy. So, Ford's nighttime routine includes a lathering yeah, of essential oils. Can dad get that same treatment? Oh yeah. <laughs> Doug likes to watch, kind of, with his toxic squirrel. Do you love your daddy? I love it that you love your daddy. <laughs> I love you. Oh, Bite her God. nose. You lay him in his little PJs. <laughs> so he loves kissy kissy. <laughs> Those are his faves. Put him in his PJs. Put him in his PJs. I got this little onesie at Nordstrom, I believe, when we were in Michigan. Cutie. Hi, cutie. And a lot of people say once a baby starts rolling over, you're not supposed to use a sleep sack. But I've heard mixed reviews, and he's such a good sleeper that I don't want to change anything. So we're still using the sleep sack. And then comes the part where everyone has to leave because all the lights go off and mommy feeds him. And then he usually falls asleep. Um, I breastfeed him for about 10 minutes and he falls asleep. I put him right in his crib and he goes right to sleep. He knows what is next. <laughs> so <laughs> I also usually turn that little hatch baby thing on. Uh, I turn it on to nighttime music and um, I usually turn it back onto ocean sounds. <laughs> Hungry. Turn it back onto ocean sounds um, whenever he goes to sleep. Say good night, Floyd. Say good night to Daddy. And Thank you for sharing your nighttime routine. So here's some real life. Sometimes you can stick to the best routines and do all the things. Monkey bars. And then your baby's still gonna roll around <laughs> like a little wild beast. And my tip on getting a wife to sleep is load her full of Weight Watchers ice cream bars. <laughs> Maybe clean <gasps> up the downstairs a little bit so it will take that chaos and messiness out of her mind. Maybe ask her if she would like a back massage tonight and hope she forgets about it when you actually get in bed. <laughs> 
So that's usually my routine to get my wife to lay down. And if all that fails, then... Just knocks me over the head. I just put up with her. <laughs>